Welcome everyone, Gabriel here and today's video is a sort of a look back at the channel. Uh, I decided to do this because uh, I saw the number uh, 448 slash no slash 448 862 views which means uh, the number of uh, views of my videos on my channel is uh, approaching something around uh, half a million which is kind of a scary when I look at it because I never you know people always say that in those types of videos that they never expected this to be such a su such a number now the thing is um, my number of subscribers isn't exactly uh, in this year actually past 1000 uh, which is uh, you know I, I worked hard for this uh, people um, who gave me a little bit of credit here and there in the comment sections they also gave their support. Uh, I never actually wanted this channel to become um, something like a major part of my life. Uh, it, it was more of a, you know, kind of a self-expression thing. Uh, those of you who don't know, the, the channel started as a, um, as a sort of a idea to show people uh, when the critically acclaimed games like The Witcher won. Uh, started to be recognized in the English-speaking world, I kind of saw a series of uh, Let's Plays when people from all around the world, mainly Britain, Americans, they watched, they played the, this game. And uh, the stunning thing that uh, struck me as a person who, ever since I was, uh, I think I was like 15 or 14, when I first read The Witcher books, I, I, have a very diff I had a very different view on those games because uh, I understood from where they come from. And that is something that uh, I actually saw people kind of lose. Uh, those who don't know Polish mythology, Polish uh, cultural situation, uh, Polish historical situation, which is very, uh, very obvious when you read The, the Witcher books. Uh, and you don't know this this background you have a very different and kind of um, way different um, uh, approach to these games and to say to people what they are actually missing I decided to do uh, a Witcher let's play with a commentary from a Polish player and that was the very beginning of this channel but actually I don't want it to jump straight into that I wanted to try something before that and that's where Dragon Age Origins, my first Let's Play on this channel, uh, started. And now the thing is, uh, this video, I wanted to, as the title suggests, to look at, at, the, at the videos that are actually uh, my personal uh, top 10, the most viewed uh, videos on my channel. So let's jump straight into that and I will talk a little bit about those videos. There will be Witcher there, don't worry. but. Uh, not exactly uh, that one is viewed the most. So let me just uh, get those videos into a uh, list where we have them by the views. So first one is the Witcher lore series Vampires. At the moment 39,000 views and a stunning, because really for me this is stunning, 389 positives thumbs up against 22 negatives uh, there will always be negatives I don't actually care about those uh, such uh, to such a degree uh, now the Witcher lore series is my mostly viewed series because uh, first of all it's a series that will more or less always be valid uh, the information there uh, that I tried to gather and uh, put together um, is something that you can quite clearly see um, more or less it was, uh, the idea behind that series was to dive into um, the Witcher lore and, you know, kind of try to sum it up uh, and as well talk a little bit about um, elements in, 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 in the Witcher lore. I, I never actually expected that the vampire <laughs> episode will be so well viewed. I'm quite sure that's because vampires were a important element for the Blood and Wine DLC, 
or rather I should say expansion pack. Uh, that one, now the thing with this one is uh, that it, it has 81, um, it has 81 comments because uh, there is misinformation there. Actually, well, it was not misinformation when I was creating it, uh, as far as I recall. But the thing is, uh, Blood and Wine expanded on the lore and uh, background on the vampires which means uh, this video which was created based on the lore of, uh, the, of the books and the games prior to the final expansion, uh, it was valid then, but later on people started actually talking about uh, what, I actually, what is actually in contradiction to what the, um, the, the expansion uh, said, which is kind of obvious to understand why that it is, because, you know, the information was not known to people when uh, when CD Projekt released the expansion and that's where the contradiction comes from. The upload of this video is 6th of May 2015, uh, almost a year before the expansion was released. Second video is my interlude, as I tried to call these, for the Witcher 2 Let's Play, my most highly viewed Let's Play. Uh, and this one uh, is about Siri and uh, how she actually um, worked way back 2012, right? 2012. <laughs> uh, okay, now this one is, uh, I'm quite sure that it is so well viewed because the miniature, the, 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 the thumbnail is uh, a, I think it's a, it's a fan art of Siri done way back somewhere in 2005 or, or something like that. Uh, and because she's quite uh, attracting here, uh, it was not something I intentionally did, I'm quite sure. Uh, uh, that was uh, that video was uh, edited on Windows Movie Maker. So, you know, it was way dif difficult then. Uh, but it is viewed very well and it has also quite a good positive response. Now the third one is an interesting story. Uh, third one is Killing a Dragon in Baldur's Gate 2 in three seconds. Uh, that one was uploaded nine years ago. This is the first video I ever uploaded to YouTube. Killing a Dragon in Baldur's Gate 2 in three seconds. It, uh, it has eight minutes and two seconds, which is far too long for such a video, considering the title suggests three seconds. Uh, the actual structure of this video is way uh, overdue. Uh, today I would have done this video way shorter, it would be way more um, concentrated and, you know, like, pushed together. Uh, the thing was, I realized that in Baldur's Gate 2, by creating the Gatianki sword, you can kill a dragon, uh, which is Fearcrack in, in, in the scenario presented in that video, in around three seconds. Basically, the moment it, he turns hostile, and if he will, if you, if your character can um, make a saving throw against his wing attack, uh, you will be so close that if you don't have what is called in that game a miss hit, uh, which is just an animation where the character swings the sword, but there is, uh, but the animation is not accompanied by a uh, throw that is to deal damage, uh, then you can kill that dragon in three seconds. Um, I remember very well that I did around 11 tries to kill that dragon. <laughs> and all of them I had recorded, and all of them were around 8 seconds. The final one was 3 seconds. And it is at the very end of this video. This video is not well received. It has 28 negatives, as you can see. That's because the video is too long. I structured it way... Uh, not the way it actually should be structured. Uh, and then we have uh, number four, which is reaction video Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the Sword of Destiny trailer from E3 2014. Uh, even as well, very good reception. 123 uh, positives against 29 negatives, 23,000 views. Uh, reaction videos aren't exactly my specialty. Uh, if you saw few of the previous ones, you can quite clearly see that 
uh, first of all, I'm not a very emotional guy. I don't uh, shout, I don't scream, I don't uh, wave my hands around. Uh, I'm rather a, a intellectual guy. I'm rather an analytical personality. Uh, that is why I usually try to, you know, actually dissect everything I watch, uh, which has its benefits, but at the same time, in reaction videos, isn't exactly what people want to see. Uh, that one, that, that reaction video was the most impressive one I recall ever watching. It's a stunning and great piece of, uh, of uh, tra trailer artwork, if I can call it that way. Now, watch it if you can. Uh, it was a marvel. And the thing is, Witcher 3 as a game uh, never actually reached that level of uh, graphical fidelity that was shown in that trailer. Uh, which was criticized some by some. And then we have Let's Play Universe Sandbox intro Introduction. This one was viewed, uh, again, very uh, old video. Six years now is passing, something around six years. It's a Polish video, uh, I did a commentary with Polish... Uh, this video has Polish commentary. Uh, it is basically an introduction to this little small game called Universe Sandbox at this very moment. Uh, there is uh, Universe Sandbox 2 is out. You can play it, uh, you can find it on Steam. A very neat little uh, program that isn't exactly a game. I don't cat catalog is th this game, uh, this program as a game. I believe uh, Universe Sandbox is more of a... Uh, is more of a simulator, I think. Uh, but it's a very nice one, and if you have a child that has problems with astrophysics uh, and doesn't want to understand how the planets work, uh, let them play that. They will be, like, in seventh heaven, because the game allows you to uh, throw Earth at other planets, for example. And then we have... Uh, this is fifth video, right? One, two, three, four, five... no, sixth video. Dragon Age 3 Story Suggestions. Uh, that was when Inquisition, Dragon Age Inquisition, was very deep in the developer's hell. Um, this one uh, is uh, one of two videos about Dragon Age that I did uh, after playing Dragon Age Origins, let's playing Dragon Age Origins, and after playing uh, Dragon Age 2, when I was giving my own suggestions on where I think uh, Dragon Age as a franchise should go. Some of them were actually quite valid and found their way in uh, development of uh, Bioware. No, I'm not saying that I suggested it to Bioware, but I do think that considering 18,000 views, uh, I'm quite sure uh, someone close to the studio watched this. Uh, maybe some community manager. I'm quite sure that they are taking points. Uh, they are looking at those types of videos and uh, they are trying to uh, say what people are criticizing. Um, the main... it's a 40 minutes video, it's a very long one. Uh, and it has like... Yeah, 200 comments. For me, that's... that's like... Blows my mind. Uh, next video is another one from the Witcher Lore series. This one is Maps uh, and World Geography. Uh, which I think is also very well viewed, uh, 18,000, uh, more than 18,000 views and the, oh, the positive reaction on this one, 245 thumbs up. Oh god, that was, that was a very good one. Uh, Witcher Law series, as I said before, is something I tried to put up before The Witcher 3 went um, gold and uh, was actually presented. Uh, the Witcher Lore series is uh, my personal highlight on the channel and I'm quite sure that the maps and the geography I did on that, on that one and uh, I put quite a lot of work uh, to this uh, video and 4 minutes 51 seconds if you want to know anything about the Witcher geography watch that video, I'm quite sure you'll find something interesting there. And then we have the two videos, all three this is the, th the tenth one. These three are also very well received. So the one called 
the chronology of stories and books, I found this one to be um, one of the more important ones I did. Also a very good reception, 231 positives, uh, positive thumbs up. Uh, this one I found that people are actually interesting because they want to know how the events are actually happening. The, the problem with The Witcher uh, short stories is that they have a s the, the structure there is not chronological when you read the book from uh, you know from the first page to the last page uh, and i think uh, it is good to have that chronolo the, ch the chronology of the of the events in the books um, in your head well I, I do think that that's why this one is very well viewed this is the first one from the whole series which i'm quite sure also gave a little bit of a boost uh, to all others then we have the Witcher Law series Nilfgaard. Uh, and considering how uh, Nilfgaard is essential to the story of The Witcher 3, how Emirvar Emrys is essential, um, I think that's why this one has uh, 16, or over 16 and a half uh, thousand views. Um, again, I, I wasn't expecting this Law series to have such a good impact uh, on the channel. I'm quite sure they are still viewed. I'm quite stunned the fact that we are, what, three years into uh, some of those creations and they are still bringing people to the channel. Uh, even if they are just to see the Witcher Lore series and then leave, I'm quite positive that I do like the fact that I was able to give a little bit uh, of knowledge to them. Uh, Nilfgaard is... Um, and we've got this is an interesting uh, video because it is um, as much as I tried to look at the um, at Emir van Emrys and, and his uh, big country uh, from a perspective of the Northern Kingdoms, you know, from a perspective of the, of the North uh, in the Witcher setting, they are actually very difficult guys. They they are invaders actually, uh, and it's not really that. Um, that much. Nilfgaard is far more complex than some people um, think. And, and remember, Geralt isn't exactly killing the uh, the, the Emperor uh, in, in, in Witcher 3. He's one of the most powerful people in the world, so Geralt also treats him as uh, all other people, not to mention that he's biological father of Ciri. Uh, and finally, the, f the, the last one, which is... The, I think it was done... The, I think it was the second no, I, I don't recall. I, I don't recall the, 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 how I was creating the Witcher Love series videos. But this one is the Witcher Genesis and Training. Uh, with this one, there is one thing people do miss: uh, the the trials uh, of the Witchers. Uh, uh, in the comment section of this video, I repeatedly had to explain to people uh, how I understood the the, the trials. Uh, and how they went down in the books, as far as I recall them. Uh, so that one, 14,000 views. Um, all of these videos are something I really am proud of, and I think that they uh, created on the channel something of a small community uh, that we try to keep together. Uh, all of those who are following the channel, I really want to say I greatly appreciate the fact that you are there. Um, I do know that there is less videos that was like two, three years ago, but you know, life uh, forces people to change uh, stuff. I was starting this channel when I was studying. Uh, I had way more time then than I have now. Uh, and even if, uh, you know, I look at all the things that are happening, uh, I'm glad that the channel is here. I will try to keep it uh, alive to some degree. If you have suggestions for videos, feel free to uh, throw them down in the comment section. Uh, I really appreciate uh, interacting with people uh, on the comment section. I have uh, on my phone the app for YouTube. So whenever I'm somewhere around an internet connection uh, and I do have an information that uh, there was a comment on the video, I try to do it. Uh, when it comes to the future of the channel, because there are actually two videos I really want to do in March. First one is uh, the future of Dragon Age after Inquisition. Uh, I already recorded everything that, it, that I need, uh, considering um, 
research and uh, voiceover. Um, that video, I, I hope to do it somewhere this week, uh, edit it a little bit. It might not have the quality I would like it to have, but the thing is to get the message out and that's what I will really want to do. And in the last, um, and I'm also starting to uh, really put down all the info about Mass Effect Andromeda, which I want to, uh, at least a few days before Andromeda launches in two weeks, I really want to do a video that will cover all we know about Andromeda. Uh, considering Bioware is pumping videos like crazy um, about everything, I also saw a video with 17 minutes uh, of Andromeda from the very beginning of the storyline, which I don't want to watch, I will tell you already. Uh, if that will, uh, that video I really want to do, these are two for March that are like, kind of a priority for me. Um, and I hope uh, you will watch them uh, with, uh, with a smile. Thank you for watching this one. That was the 10 videos that are mostly viewed on the channel Gabriel Gaming. Thank you for your time and hope to see you soon. Bye.